as he climbed the tree, we saw that he was feeding. His long, sticky tongue flickering over the branches, gathering the ants, which swarmed everywhere. Not a particularly pleasant meal, one would have thought, but at least his hard, scaly coat protects him from the worst of the, his stings. Without a regular daily supply of live ants, the pangolin can't live. We couldn't hope to provide him with the right sort of ants in London, so we didn't try to catch him, but just sat quietly and watched him as he continued undisturbed with his morning meal. We noticed that the ants on which the pangolin was feeding had constructed nests for themselves by fastening together clusters of leaves. There seemed to be a great deal of activity going on around these nests, so we looked closer. At first, we couldn't distinguish exactly what the ants were doing as they bustled about so busily. However, then we noticed this group with their jaws locked tight in the lower leaf and their hind legs attached to the upper leaf. The colony is constructing a new nest and these patient workers are holding two leaves of the future nest in position so that other members can fasten them together to form the outer wall of their new home. 